Good evening, YouTube friends and family. Thank you for uh, joining us uh, on another video here. Uh, I want to. Uh, this one, I'm going to show you how I just uh, changed out a circulator pump on our outdoor uh, wood boiler. It is a central boiler stove. Uh, has saved us a ton of money. A great stove. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I changed out the uh, circulator. Uh, a little bit of. Uh, how we heat our uh, house here in the compound and I uh, hope you get something out of it uh, we also heat our domestic uh, uh, water with it um, for bathing and that sort of stuff so I will uh, keep it short and sweet I'll see you at the end here we are December 29th mm -hmm. and uh, we ran out of hot water so the boiler uh, and heat and heat so our outdoor wood stove heats our entire house and it heats our hot water in the winter in the summer we don't burn wood uh our solar get a shot of our solar honey solar is just catching the end of day uh, light and uh the stove went down so it's the circulator pump so our solar does run our circulator uh pump here at the stove, we got a 30 amp breaker in this barn, and then we got, I don't know, 100 watt uh, chicken light off of uh, off the barn, and then a couple things in the shop uh, off the barn. But get a pick of this, baby love. This is uh, what's going bad. Now I can't remember the last time I replaced this. I thought for sure the last time I bought them, I bought two uh, just for this. So. I just bought two more, uh, but they're not going to be in till tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and pay for those two. I'm going to put this one in. These pumps are guaranteed for three years. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I can't recall the last time I replaced one. So I don't know if that's We're going to uh, switch out this pump real quick and uh, see if we can't get some heat. You can hear it. Can you hear it, honey? Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and unplug it. We're going to unplug it, take this thing apart, put this new one in, and then uh, it's just a matter of uh, we'll shut these off. All right, shut that off. It's just a matter of important thing is the arrows. Always look for the arrows. Uh, our flow is out of the stove and into the house. So we're going to make sure that we put this pump in just like the last one uh they're both the same make same model so the good thing is it's just a matter of unbolting these uh we'll slide that out we'll take the cord and put it in here and then we'll slide that while back we're out there. here doing this boiler we're going to go ahead and uh, do a review of this uh boiler unit because this thing has saved us a ton of money uh, outdoor wood furnace, the classic central boiler. Central boiler, get a shot of this plate, honey, so they can see uh, model and stuff. This so thing can't even buy it anymore. Not this, yeah, not this one. They, they're all crazy upgraded thing. But this thing has lasted us 20 years. We've been here, how long have we been here, honey? 20 years. 20 years, and we got it uh about three months after we bought this place because we could not uh pay for fuel oil uh but this uh central boiler man it's it's great the only problem that we've had with it so far and it's not even a problem it still works get a picture of the door baby love this lifetime warranty cast iron insulated door okay this door show them the vent down here this door has a solenoid in it that uh has a damper and it opens and closes and we're gonna show them show them the heater thing there right now currently the stove temperature is at 202 it's uh it got to acting up that pump went bad and wasn't circulating water so let's take a look at the inside of this thing now it's been damped out for a while but go ahead, check that out. That's a big sucker. But here is the only thing with the door. We have one crack on the door here. 
And this crack on the door happened about, what, three years ago? 2019. 2019. So this crack just happened, and it wasn't by any fault of the door. You should keep this wood back off the face of this thing at least a foot and keep the, uh, the fire in the center of the firebox. Um, but occasionally, uh, that pal wood, because it's up to here when we got it filled up. I'll show you it filled up once. Uh, if you don't have it in there uh, squared away, it will fall to the front. And that all that wood will fall on this door and then lay on this door uh, right here. And uh, I'm aware of that. All my kids are aware of it. But we went somewhere and had someone house sit for us. And I explained to her, it was a young lady. Awesome. Reagan, thank you very much. Um, but uh, I didn't go over all this and the importance of keeping that fire back here. So uh, when we come back, uh, the door was cracked. It wasn't a big issue. It, it opens and kind of closes. It's getting uh, corroded shut now, but it still works fine. Uh, look at this. I love this company. That that stove has saved us thousands of dollars. And when we bought it, it was very efficient. Well, this is efficient. Um, it's a little uh, big. And initially, we planned on heating the house and the store, which we do now. We keep the house heated and the store kind of semi-conditioned. And we bought it to heat this barn. I was going to pour a slab in here and put uh, floor heating in there. I got to yeah, see it catches up. Man, that thing will dampen out. And then when that damper opens up, uh, it'll catch back on. But, uh, there's not a blower system or anything on here. Uh, that was something that we didn't need. Now, it did have a sight glass here at one time, which was a 90 degree uh, brass fitting. And then it had about uh, six inches of uh, clear tubing on it. And you could turn that and it would fill up and you could see the stove level. Uh, that got clogged up, uh, I don't know, quite a few years ago. Um, but uh, I just check it in the springtime, uh, make sure before I fire it up, it's got water in it. And uh, <laughs> this thing is spot on. Uh, much appreciated. I bought this off of uh, uh, Brian Albert, who was a central boiler uh, rep in my area at the time. They're still here uh, for all you local yokels or anybody. I'll send, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I'm sure you can't get one like this one anymore, but uh, if you can get one that was built like this, uh, you can't get wrong. So double thumbs up. Let's get this uh, pump changed out. All right, we're gonna change this out. All we're doing is uh, taking this cover plate off and stink bugs. Yeah, uh, let me know down in the uh, comments if you guys got stink bugs and where you're from because uh, stink bugs are crazy around here. Uh, find them. Yes, yes, and they're, they're everywhere. So all we're gonna do is take the, the black and the white hook them together hook this thing up the same way on our new pump and uh pull it out of here so i'm gonna pull this cord off What do you think, boy? Hey, get out of the way. <laughs> he made me cut my finger. Did he? Yep. Oh, up in my face when I was messing with the utility knife. Yeah. Is it your level? You're at his level? Yeah, I'm at his level, I guess. Ah! 
back up, Jack. You're right, right down in the down and dirty. Mm -hmm. Trying to see what you're doing. I'm trying to take out bolts. Neighbor's home. Yep. Hi, Terry. The important thing is to try to get them flanges level. That's what it should sound like. Oh, look at it steaming. Mm -hmm. All right, let's leave that off and make sure we ain't got no leaks. All right, we're at 204. Jeez. Let's get the ladder out and we will uh, check inside there right. and make sure uh, we didn't lose a bunch of water and all of our water levels good Man, you better be careful taking that off that steam is pumping out of there it is pumping out of there Jeez. but this, the good thing about this system is it's not under pressure yeah right. so if it would ever get so hot that it would literally boil out of there um it would at least boil out of there and you could see it mm -hmm. um so the system's not under pressure and that works out good. We'll uh, actually take you inside to wrap this thing up and show you uh, where the, uh, how this heat goes in and transfers into our boiler because it's on a, it's a separated system. The, the water in this boiler never touches the water in our house boiler. Um, it's on two separate systems. This goes in and circulates through a heat plate and the uh, water out of the interior boiler uh, circulates the opposite direction through that same heat plate. The heat plate is uh, it's copper stacked plates. Uh, I think there's 24 plates on the uh, stack, but uh, yeah, we'll show you that here in a minute. So we're going to let this sit and make sure it doesn't leak and uh, check the water level. See water, you're good. All right, so the water from the uh, stove outside uh, comes in here. Uh, that's the uh, 30 amp uh, electric line that goes to the barn. And uh, this is the hot water that comes in. Uh, one supply, one return. And uh, that goes over to the heat plate and then comes back through here and uh, back out to the stove. So that's a one inch line. Uh, insulated three foot down uh, below frost line and uh, back up to the stove. okay so here's what we got down in the basement now none of this stuff is hooked up to the solar um, because the batteries right now I'm gonna hook the, all this stuff up this weekend the big New Year's but these pumps are pretty big these are our there we go these are uh, the circulators to the thermostats. And then the stove comes into this transfer plate. So this thing is just 27 copper plates stacked together. Ooh, that's hot. And then the stove water comes in here and circulates this way. This is the return. It goes over and feeds the hot water heater. Um, and then the water out of our boiler uh, circulates the opposite direction uh, through that heat plate and transfers the heat into the boiler. So in this return line, it goes over and catches our uh, water heater. So let's go over and check that out. All right, so that return line comes from that heat plate and comes down into uh, this contraption here which transfers heat into the water heater it doesn't uh, 
none of the water's mixed. The outside boiler is on its own line. The boiler inside is on its own line. And then the hot water is on its own line. So, and uh, I got to change this water heater out. So if anybody's interested, I'll uh, show you how I uh, take this off and rehook it up. But all this is is an inch and a quarter uh, copper line and through it runs a three quarter inch line and uh it circulates through there the heat the transfer uh pulls the uh cold water out of the water heater and draws it up through that three quarter inch line and just makes a loop so uh it circulates through the three quarter inch line and then this inch and a half uh, copper on the outside is from the stove and it's on the return line so it just goes back out to the stove on a continuous loop well there you go uh, short and sweet uh, pretty simple task um, make sure you stick around uh, share like subscribe notification bell uh, our next uh, video is going to be on uh, finishing out our uh, Sun Gold uh, 6.5 kW uh, SP, uh, what are they, 6548s. Um, so we're going to finish up that wiring, uh, tie the rest of our panel in. Um, I'll show you guys uh, how I just basically set it up. Uh, it was pretty simple. I just followed the schematic that they sent me. Um, so if you want to see that one, stick around and always remember to smile. God loves you.